hello guys welcome once again in this video i will show you how to use radio buttons and check boxes with your qt gui c++ application and i will also show you what is difference between uh, radio buttons and check boxes so let me uh, give you an example so let me build my example first and then i will illustrate my example i will take two group boxes in my window and I will resize it and first group box name I will change it as the title of my group box as age and second group box title as uh, likes okay and now once again I will go to my widget box or toolbox and I will take some radio buttons and drag and drop into the age group box so inside this age group box and I will pick up some check boxes and drag and drop inside my like group box and I will change the title of this uh, radio button as above 18 and second radio button as below 18 okay so this is the title of the checkbox and likes maybe movies and sports food for example so now I have the checkboxes with age ages radio button and the checkboxes with uh, the likes okay now how can we use this radio button and checkboxes so first of all let me demonstrate what is the difference between these two when I run my program so inside this group box when you take these checkboxes and radio buttons you can see the behavior of this radio button you can only choose one option at a time inside this group box but when it comes to checkboxes you can select multiple checkboxes even if they are in the group box so this this is the basic difference the radio button are used when you need to choose only one option out of uh, many and the checkboxes we generally use when you need to check some multiple options right so this is the basic difference and now let's use them so I will take push buttons here and I will just go to the push button slot and go to the click event of this push button and here I will write if UI radio button is clicked then what I will do is I will show a message box saying that age is above 18 so I will write which is So I will just paste the code of message box and say this is age message box and the comment is age is above 18 okay and if my second radio button is clicked then I will say age is below 18 and this is radio button 2 so this is for radio buttons and now once again I will go to my UI and I will select this push button and go to slots and click OK and I will copy the same code here and I will just change the checkbox 
so instead of radio button I will just write UI checkbox and UI checkbox 2 and UI checkbox 3 and then what was my items movie sports and food okay so I will go to my code first and here I will write likes with K and here also likes and likes and I'll say first of all movies sports and food okay now when I run the program it's showing me some error so let's see what is the error here okay so this is saying that radio button 2 is not a member of this UI so let's see what is the name of our radio button it's radio button underscore 2 okay and here also we need to add underscore because our name of the checkbox is combo box underscore 2 and our combo box underscore 3 now when I run the program hopefully it runs okay and for example uh, first of all I want to check check age so age cannot be multiple right it can be uh, either above 18 or below 18 or whatever so for example I click above 18 and click the push button and it says age is above 18 but likes can be multiple so a person can like movies sports food at the same time so when I check all these things and when I click this push button it says likes movie like sports like food and when I uncheck either of them then likes are only movies and when I check two of them likes are movies and sports but here I can check only one of them right this is the basic difference and in this way you can use combo box and check boxes with your Qt GUI C++ application I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please write, comment and subscribe.